Are you looking to create the video inside of text letters for your titles and intro videos? In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how you can do this in under five minutes, even if you've never video edited before, all on an online video editor that's completely free called NVIDIA. This is Brady with NVIDIA, and if that sounds useful to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so we can bring you such awesome tutorials. With that being said, let's get started. So once you've actually gone to nvideo.io, all you want to do is go in the top right corner, hit sign up. It's going to ask for your name, email, and password. And once you're done, you'll be greeted with the screen. Now to get started, all you got to do is click blank canvas. And here you can actually choose the dimension of the videos you want to use. I'm going to stick with a wide 16 by 9 ratio and you want to click make a video. First things first, what you want to do is actually change the background color. All you have to do to do this is click on the background. It'll bring up this edit panel on the right side. Click colors and you can feel free to change it to whatever color you want. I'm going to go with a blue and you will see that it'll change right away. Now to actually find the letter you want to use to have the image in the background, you want to go on the left side, click more, and you're going to find something that said masks. When you click on masks, you're going to automatically see that there are different masks here. All you got to do is simply type the letter you want to use. So let's say I want to use P. When I click P and hit search, you will see that the letter P does pop up. And all you got to do is simply drag it and drop it onto the canvas. Now, when you go to actually add your own media to this, all you have to do is go to the upload section and upload your media in here. Once you see that it is in this slot, all you have to do is simply drag and drop it. Make sure that it is highlighting the letter and not the background. Or if you want to actually leverage our stock videos and images, you can simply click on the left side and you can untick these so the images and videos you get are completely free and you just have to do the exact same process by dragging it and dropping it on the letter but once you have found the clip you are going to use all you need to do is simply drag and drop it onto here and hit replace when you actually do hit replace it's going to bring up this trim module now you can do a couple things here you can simply mute the audio so it does not play in the background when you are actually creating your video you can also change the playback speed to make it faster or slower to your liking and of course with the trim module you can trim off the ends or even make different sections to be trimmed off um, for this example i'm just going to be using the full video so to do that all you got to do is click use full video and you will see that it is automatically put in there for you so i went ahead and actually did this with a couple different letters using different images and videos the last image is a pi for the e spelling out pi but if I actually wanted these to come in at different times, all I got to do is click timeline and you will see that it shows everything here, different masks. So I actually want the third image to come in last and the first image to come in first, obviously. So all you have to do is actually drag these and you can see that if you move them in, these will come in at different times. So if I hit play, you will see P, I, E, and just like that, you will see that they actually come in at different times, just like you wanted. Now, just having these come in at different times can be very boring. So to actually spice things up, we want to do an animation simply by clicking on the one you want to do the animation for going to edit, going to video animation. You can see you can do an in or an out. You can also change the duration of it. You can also change the certain type of animation that you want to. And it actually has a preview when you click on it. So I'm going to have this one coming from actually I'm going to have all of them coming from the left because I think that looks really clean. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for every single one. I'm actually going to go ahead and change the background music on this because I really don't like it. So by going to music, you will see that there are tons of genres to choose from and tons of tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and use like a chilled out kind of vibe and I'm going to go ahead and add one right now. I really like the way this one sounds. So I'm going to hit replace music. It's actually going to fit the scene perfectly. And just like that, you're done. So if we go ahead and play on this, the background music is added. The animations come in and all these letters do come in at different times. So I'm actually happy with the way this project turned out. All I have to do is go to the top right, hit download and share. It'll bring up this export menu. And that is where I'll click export and it'll start exporting for you. When it is done exporting, all you got to do is click download and your clip is completely ready to go. If you enjoyed this video, then you definitely want to check out this tutorial where I show you guys how you can add overlays like light leaks, config confetti, smoke, all completely free within NVIDIA. We also have a playlist of some super useful video creation tips that I'm going to leave on the screen right up here. This has been Brady with NVIDIA, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.